Okay, I had a really good conversation with a couple parents, and uh, more than that, a couple adult students as well, asking about how do I train kata? The current thing is, is okay, I've already done my Kihon kata and my Fukia kata, and I'm a yellow belt, so I should only work on my Nahachi Sandan and my Pinan. No, you should train all of your kata. The Kihon kata build your basic techniques. Fukia kata build your fundamental techniques. Pinan kata build your applicable techniques, your power, your movement, application of hips. Combat kata builds your self-defense ability, your ability to fight if somebody's trying to harm you. So when we're looking at this in terms of how do I figure out a way to train all these kata, uh, most of the black belts in our system know 19 plus different kata, you pick a few. You know, um, like I'm going to show you guys my, this is actually my training routine. I, I have my week, I have my, I'm not going to include weekends on there. Mondays, my Tuesdays, my Wednesdays, my Thursdays, my Friday. Okay? And I draw these lines through it. Pretty simple. As far as that goes. And on Mondays, I personally, one of the things I like to do on Mondays is work my Kihon, my basics. So I'm going to pick Monday as my Kihon and Fukyu Kata days. All right? My Tuesdays are usually my Naihanchi day. So I work my Naihanchi, Sho, Ni, and San. We'll get to how I do this in a second. Wednesdays are typically my Pinan day. And I'll work Sho, Ni, San. Yan, and go. I'll work all, all five of the Pinon Katas, okay? And then Thursdays, I like to call my Pasai Chinto Day. So I will work on, and I know some of you guys don't know these Kata, but I'll work on Pasai Sho and Dai, and then I throw Chinto in there because Chinto seems to flow since it's part of the crane system of Kata. And then Fridays are what I call my Hardcore Day because I work the three hardest Katas in our system. So I will work Kusanku, Sho and Dai and Goju Shiho. Okay. Now, when you're looking at this type of a training thing, so Monday's my Kihan and Fukia, and you can mix these up however you want. And if you don't know all those kata, you just kind of spread it out a little bit more. But I do a three step process on each one of the kata. The first time, and I will do every kata three times. Okay, some people don't need to do that, other people do. But other than my Wednesdays, it's actually not that much time consuming. I can get through, these are the hardest kata. Kusanku Sho, Kusanku Dai is the longest kata, and Goju Shiho is one of the toughest kata in our system. And I can get done training those in 20 minutes. 20 minutes doing this process. So anyone that ever tells me I didn't have time to do my kata, you're lying. You are lying. You have time. It's all about priorities. You can't achieve anything prioritizing what you want to do. You have to prioritize what you need to do to become great at it. That means you might not want to do it. I'm going to say that again. You might not want to do it. But you've got to discipline yourself to do it. That's how karate works. That's how everything in life works, just so you guys understand. So I would have these katas. We're going to pick my Monday. So I would do each one of the, I would do the full kion kata in a series of three. The first time through is what I will call technical. Okay. I'll just walk through the kata. If I'm sitting there and I'm doing kihon kata, I'll make sure my stances are right. To sit, to fill that. <laughs> Do my grab. Make sure my punch is correct. Stepping correctly. Punching. Make sure everything's lined up. My back's up straight. My knee's bent. Taking my time. Examining and studying my kata. Making sure I'm squared forward. Pretty simple, okay? And then the second time through, I'll do what's called power kata, okay? I will actually run the kata as powerful as I can. I won't play around. I'm going to use the kion kata again. I won't play around. I'll put everything I got in that kata. So I'll be here. As you can see, it's pretty sloppy in terms of how that works. It's pretty sloppy. 
Uh, and when you're working power kata, you need to be sloppy, to be honest with you, because you're not supposed to think. You're supposed to just do it hard as you can. Hit as hard as you can. Screw up big time. That's what power kata is. And then number three, I will work for what I call perfect shun kata. I want a balance of one and two. One plus two. Technique and power, one plus two, equals awesome. Kata. Pretty simple. But you got to kind of pick this up on your own. Uh, some of the advanced students have said, well, I, I prefer to run this kata. I prefer. It's not about what you prefer to run. It's about how you train. I'm going to say that again. It's not about what you prefer to run. It's about how you train. I love... Kusanku Dai Kata. It's one of my favorite katas. If I could pick, if I had to pick a kata that I was going to train every single day, it would be Kusanku Dai. But I don't have that luxury because I have all these other kata that I have to perfect. Every one of these has something different in it. Of course, there's some repetitive, repetitive stuff in it, but every one of them has something different in it. There's value to every kata we do, even our Kihan and Fukia kata. It may not seem like that, but when you get higher rank, you start to reinvestigate your Kihon kata and your Fukia kata, and you're like, oh, wait a second. I did that the other day when I was doing Kute. We do that when we do self-defense. We step that way to generate power with our hips. And that's part of that Kihon and that Fukia kata is to build that up. So by the time you get up into doing the Pasai katas and the Pinan kata, you've got power, you've got technique. And then it's a real simple process of just perfecting it, which makes karate easy. I always tell everybody, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to learn karate. And I seriously doubt that the forefathers of karate were rocket scientists. I know they were educated, but I don't think that they were uh, rocket scientists. Because, hey, this works, let's put it in a kata. Okay? Now, talking about something else, and I will, I'm not going to erase that just so you guys can keep it, but I'm going to get this bottom part of this cleaned off. Every kata in our system, in shoulder and shoulder and con, including our weapons kata, every kata in our system has bonkai. Okay? Bonkai is what I call the box. That is, how do I apply that grab in kihon kata? Well, if I'm standing there and I see somebody throw a punch and I block it and I grab the back of their hair and I boom, drive my fist through their head, I just did Kion Kata. Understand? Very simple. Vonkai is, what are you doing? How can you apply it against a punch, a kick, a grab, a football tackle, somebody doing this, somebody grabbing you from behind, somebody putting you in a rear choke. Maybe I'm doing Pinan Sada, Pinan Sandan, and somebody grabbed a hold of me here, and I reach back and I grab a hold of their hair, and when I do this, boom, I send them flying over, which would be that move right there. This is why you need to study your kata. This is why a kata is so important. Uh, when it comes to the higher rank katas, uh, Pasai and Shinto and Goto Shiho, Bunkai is tough. You're going to have to be guided through it. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The more you study your karate, the more Bunkai reveals itself to you. That's it in a nutshell. The higher rank you get, the longer you study, the more things you pick up on. But you can't do that if you don't practice all the kata because something in Kihon kata is going to relate to something in Shinto, and it actually does. Something in Pinan Yandan is going to relate to Kusanku Sho and Dai, and it actually does. Okay? Something in Pinan Godan you're going to find in Pasai Dai and Shinto, and it does. Something that you do in Naihachi Shodan is going to be available in Goja Shiho, and it does. This is why these are all important. You study them all equally and you train them hard. This is a very simple thing. Other than my Wednesdays, I can get through my kata training in a day. This one right here, about five minutes. I'm doing it three times, just like I said. Five minutes. Five minutes of your day. That's breakfast. Come on. This one, that takes a little longer because the Nahachi are really hard kata and everything to do them three times. About 15 minutes. Okay. Wednesdays, uh, 30, 35 minutes. Thursdays, I spend a little bit more time on stage one of my training with those katas because they're harder. Uh, same with these other ones. But I'll get through this in about oh, 20, 25 minutes. 
this one right here about 30, 35 minutes because I take a long time with Doji Shiho. Uh, the, the old lesson from Okinawa is all karate is found in Goji Shiho. So if you master Goji Shiho, you can master karate. So Goji Shiho is probably the hardest kata for me to truly master. And I really like that kata. And then I'll go back through after I've done all this and I might pick one individual kata and think, how can I apply my movements in this particular kata against somebody attacking me? And I start, I start with the attack. I don't start with what I'm doing in the kata. I start with the attack. So if I was doing that opening move of Naihachi Shodan right here, I don't start with that movement. I start with their attack. I'm going to defend against somebody throwing a jab and a hook at me. Okay, a jab, jab and a hook. All right, so I'm standing there. I don't want to fight this guy. All of a sudden, he throws that first jab, and I block. Here comes that hook, and I block here like this. And then I'm going to strike him in the groin and hit him in the face with an elbow. That's bunkai. That's what we study this kind of stuff for. Uh, one of the things that I will share with you guys, and this is my own opinion based on my research of 40-some years of doing karate, I don't believe that Kihan, Fukia, Naihachi, well, Naihachi maybe, but the Pinan and the Kihan and the Fukia Kata, I don't believe that they were developed to have any bunkai to them. I believe that came about years later when we started to, hey, what is this? Hey, what is that? You know, and a lot of people went back to Okinawa and said, what are we doing when we do this? What are we going to do? The Okinawa was like, shut up and train. You know, the answers will come to you. Shut up and train, you know. Uh, I, however, believe that Naihachi Shodan, as a minimum, and the Pasai, the Chinto, the Kusanku, and the Goja Shiho were not developed as kata first. They were developed as bunkai first. These series of movements I've used in fights, and I know that it works, and I can apply it against these several different scenarios. So I'm going to add that to this kata. And those first set of movements ended up adding more movements, then more movements, then more movements from one or two individual teachers. And it developed into the kata that we know today. I don't believe that. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to throw moves together. And then I'm going to go back through and try and figure out what the bunkai is. I believe that it was the other way around with our combat kata. And probably Nahanchi Shodan. Somebody has some great moves that they could use, like Chinto. It's actually kind of a unique idea on this. And they coordinated them together, showed them to somebody, and somebody created a kata out of those fighting moves. I don't believe it was the other way around. Here's a kata I'm going to teach you. Now figure out how to use it for fighting. So I look at it in terms of those. When you guys are working on this stuff, and I know a lot of you guys don't know that, so you can't do kata every day. So maybe break it down into, I know kihan and fukia kata, and I'm working on nahachi sho. So I'll do kihan kata, nahachi sho, or fukia kata, nahachi sho da. I'll do it technical, technical, technical. Powerful, powerful. Get the idea? You can separate it however you want. Part of our karate training is to learn how to train, you know, and it takes discipline. You can't just pick and choose what you like to do. That's not how you get good at karate. That's not how I got good at karate. That's not how my sense I got good at karate. You have to do it all. That has to be disciplined. This is a great chart, and I hope I'm going to take a picture of it so that you guys can have a photo of it online. But I want you guys to make sure that you study this. You know, and there's going to be days where I don't feel like doing karate. I don't need blah, 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 blah. If you were my kid, your butt would be up and I'd be making you do karate because you signed up to do karate. No excuses. Quit being a baby about it. Quit making complaints about it. You got all the time in the world. You're not in school. Don't play the video games all day long. Do something productive with your life. This is going to improve you. Those video games aren't going to do anything for you. You know, and then for you adults. If you're not working right now, you got all the time in the world. I just don't want excuses. I just don't want excuses. I'm a black belt. I don't believe in excuses. Excuses are for failure. You guys are better than that. Believe in yourself like we believe in you. So it's time to hit it hard. You guys got this. Let's get together. Let's train. Post some videos of you working out. Post some videos and then put some questions on it and let's talk. You know, come on, give me some interaction. You guys are awesome and I can't wait to see you again. And this is the only way we got to train right now. So if you got anything that you guys need to hit me up on, do so. Shoot me an email, info at Franz Karate. You know, nail me on, or send me a message on Facebook, nail me on Facebook. hey There's my reverse punch, sensei. Okay. Uh, let's just work at this together. We only got a couple more weeks left of this, and let's hope that they don't extend it, and hopefully the dojos can be back open in May. 
And when that comes, we're going to hit it hard. We're going to train hard. And I'm going to make you the best that you possibly can be. And there is no quitting. Just because you've had time off, I will see you back in the dojo. I won't accept any excuses. There is no quitting. Are you a black belt? If not, train harder. And if you are a black belt, train harder than a white belt. That's how karate works. My message for the day. I appreciate the commentary to a couple of parents. And I said a couple of adult students were asking about this. And this is the kind of stuff that I need you guys to ask me. Very valuable information. I'm glad I was able to share it with you. Have a great day.